Now. Come now. That's... That's right. believe this is what he would have wanted for you. To throw away all your hopes and dreams for the sake of revenge. My father is gone. I don't think he'd be happy at all. I think he'd say this. Live not for me, for I am dead and gone. You must find your own happiness. Father. Primrose, will you dance for me once more? 
I wish to burn the sight of you into my memories, that it shall never fade. Yes, Father. She will need to be strong, indeed. For the future of our house will one day rest upon her shoulders. You haven't forgotten your debts now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you. It's a shame, Primrose. You were always my favorite. Quite the dancer yourself, in the end. And I know that, deep down, you have a good heart. Primrose, you must find that faith in yourself. I will send you to your father's side. Now two remain. Lady Primrose, what do you believe in? She will be strong. We will raise her to be a fine lady. Strong, kind, and just. Reminds me of the fire in your father's eyes when he faced his end. This man should not live a moment longer. Oh, I'm sorry. I heard that you were looking around for my friend here. And you know what they say about birds of a feather. Oh, the tragedy! It moves me to the depths of my soul! <laughs> but someday you must find a cause of your own. A cause that will bring you happiness. I will always love you, Primrose. I... I... What... what has this all been for? But no. Father would understand. And this... This will be the end of it. When I plunge this dagger into your breast... It will all be over. I will finish this. Perfect. Yes, just perfect. The depths of emotion that burn in those eyes. That is the girl I fell in love with so many years ago. A woman truly worthy of my genius. Now, come to me, Primrose. And let me bring this beautiful tragedy to a close. For the main event. What is the logical course of action? Ignis are dead. I am ready. Have at you. I will cut you down.
victory shall be mine. Nighthood, bring your shade. Let's do this. Catch me again. Too slow. An interesting dilemma. Ignis are dead. I will cut you down! What is the logical course of action? Her mind! Both the Ignis are dead! I am ready. Watch me now! What to do? Catch me again! Victory shall be mine! Now, what next? Ten of us over here! Battle is truly joined. The fight thing is unbending! Windhild, fight with us! With each battle, I grow stronger. No! No, something's not right! This isn't enough! Not yet! We still haven't seen the full depths of the darkness inside you! Show me more, Primrose! Show me the darkest shadow in your heart! You hate this, don't you? You are full of regrets! I regret nothing. <laughs> Foolish girl! You think your father would be proud to see you like this? Bloodying your precious family heirloom for petty revenge? Tell me, have you even visited your father's grave? No. First, I must do what must be done. When I can look him in the eye and tell him he is avenged, then, and only then, will I go. My poor little Primrose. How you lie to yourself so. Can't you see that you're running away? You can't bear to face your father, to show him your blood-stained hands! This was never about avenging your father, was it? You were simply trying to fill the emptiness in your heart. But you couldn't accept that, so you twisted your memories of your father beyond recognition, until you convinced yourself that he would want this! <sighs> it's true, isn't it? You speak nonsense. How did it feel when you killed my men? 
Did that fill the hole in your heart, even a tiny little bit? Enough! Shut up! You can admit it, Primrose. You don't need to be strong anymore. Stop it! Just... stop. You have no place in my heart any longer. Father... Can I tell you something, Father? Something I've never told anyone before. The truth is... I hated it. I hated my life without you. I hated the loneliness. I hated not having you by my side. But it's almost over now. Please, Father. Forgive me. Come now, Primrose. It's okay. Abandon this madness, my dear girl. You don't need to lie to yourself any longer. That hard look on your face doesn't suit you. You know you were made for softer things. I am Lady Primrose of House Azelheart. And I swear on my ancestor's name. And on my father's blade. I will not lose faith. My faith shall be my shield against you! An interesting dilemma. So much to learn. Cursed witchery. I am ready. of healing. Uh, 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 
What's this now? Let's try this. of your heart. It was more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. And now, for our climax. Come, Primrose, and plunge your precious dagger into my breast. Every show must come to an end, Primrose. It is time to lower the curtain. And when the moon waxes full and bright in dark heaven, and stars glitter worlds away from earthly sorrow, would that sleep hold you in her soft embrace? Then... Shall my eyes close, lips open in prayer? For it is only in dreams that we may meet again. Goodbye, Simeon. Yes, Amber! <laughs> 